morning guys and welcome back to another video full day of eating with me eating starch solution and low calorie density style i have lost 60 pounds eating this way in the last few years and i'm a volume eater so you can eat massive portions of delicious food every single day to get lean um i want to show you what i'm eating today um we've got a very busy day today we're going to be basically it's like nearly 12 o'clock romy once again has been asleep on me for a very 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 long time for like hours um and so i haven't even eaten anything haven't had breakfast yet i wasn't hungry before she went to sleep um but i did get loads of work done so that was amazing you want to sit on the chair um obviously i am starting the morning with a lovely warm carob so i've already cooked breakfast um i did it early this morning when i was making um a and Romy breakfast and getting everything ready for school for the school run. Um, so I want to show you what I've got. I didn't actually film yesterday, but James got me a special treat of Japanese sweet potatoes. I have not had sweet potatoes in ages. You guys know I went orange. Um, I think it was like after my potato reset when I went really, really hard on the potatoes. Uh, the sweet potatoes, the orange ones, and loads of carrots. I don't know whether I am orange now. I'm not sure. But I'm feeling like I'm less orange. But anyway, I still don't want to have too much orange stuff because I don't really want to be orange. I mean, not too orange anyway. But uh, the Japanese sweet potatoes, I'm very, very excited about. So I baked these in the oven. These are ready to rumble. I'm trying to figure out how I should eat them. Should I eat them just as they are? That might be delicious. But I also thought turning them into a pudding would be nice and i've never turned a japanese sweet potato into a pudding i thought like a vanilla pudding would just be would just be amazing um kind of like my chocolate pudding with my um orange sweet potatoes then i wanted a um obviously 50 50 plate style breakfast and i thought i haven't had a soup in ages and i was really in the mood for a soup it's actually quite chilly which is why i'm wearing this this morning um so i cooked up a massive um cauliflower courgette and one potato just to give it a little bit of creaminess um and i've just done um, a couple of onions some things of frozen garlic i did a few bay leaves and some bouillon powder so keeping it quite basic and i'm going to also put lo loads of nooch in mm. oh yum so i'm going to blend that up now and then i'm going to have my soup with my sweet potatoes i'm not quite sure in what form but let's do it i also have so many ideas of things that i want to do today like my my brain has got like i'm just like got food visions in every in every area of my mind so i had some pears so this one dropped on the floor so i'm really sad it's a bit squidgy but basically i was thinking for the pears i wanted to do like sliced pears open it up have an oat oaty cinnamon vanilla crumble on the top and then you air fry it and then it comes out and it's a pudding um, I thought that would just be amazing. You could serve that with a banana ice cream. Oh my God, that would be so good. I wish I was having that for breakfast now. Um, but the other thing I was thinking about is I saw a recipe on Instagram, which was a, not a vegan one, just like a random one. Um, and it was like a chocolate filled, chocolate ganache cup thing. And it's like the base was like a chocolatey thing and it was filled with like all the chocolatey gooeyness. And I was like, mm, that looks pretty good. How can I do this? So I have a vision, which is chickpeas. My chickpea chocolate cookies that I did, uh, like, when was it, last week or something? So I thought, that, if you use that as a base, and then sweet potato chocolate filling, like, for the frosting, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, my gosh. And then you could have, like, some fruit on the top, or just, I thought that would be such a special thing. And I might try and whip some of that up for my mum's birthday. Um, she's not going to eat it because she's raw at the moment, but everyone else can eat it because everyone else needs to eat something special. Um, and that is in a couple of weeks time. So that I'm like, oh, don't let me forget that guys. If I forget to do this, please tell me about it. So anyway, um, let's go eat some breakfast. And also I know I'm a bit chatty this morning. I, I, I can't help it. I, I've got things to say. Um, this evening we are going to be having a big Indian feast and I need to go to the shops to pick up some tins of tomatoes to make a butter tofu. So I'm very excited about that. And the main reason we're having that is because uh, Romy and I are going to be going to forest school with Abe after um, school. So I wanted something kind of quick and simple. So I was looking in the freezer and I found the leftover sweet potato dal from last time we had Indian. And then James really wanted the butter tofu. Um, so that is our plan. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know. Let's put food together. 
whilst I'm in the kitchen, the main thing that Romy wants to do at the moment is play throw the balls to each other, which I find extremely adorable. And it's something I can do whilst I'm cooking. I just kind of like kick her the ball and she kicks it back. And it's quite a fun little activity. Um, I did also want to share that I have soaked up loads of chickpeas in here with some baking powder. I think one of you guys left me a comment about the fact that my chickpeas have been hard. Um, it might be because it's like an old, old batch of chickpeas, which, um, which it very much could be the case because I've never had that. Um, happened to me before um, and I'm really sad because I've got loads and loads of chickpeas to use um, so anyway let's just see so those of you starting out on your journey um, including non-starchy veggies is obviously incredibly vital not only for your health but also for maximum weight loss they are the foods lowest in calorie density um, on the planet so try and get in as many of them as humanly possible um, people tend to do the 50 50 plate where you eat half a plate starches and half a plate of non-starchy veggies i love veggies obviously but i love my veggies in the form of soup because we are adding extra moisture therefore we are lowering the calorie density of those veggies even further very hearty, delicious, satisfying. You can make them into a full meal. If you add starches in, like um, loads of beans and grains and potatoes and stuff like that, or you could have it less starchy. This one's got one little potato in, so it's kind of medium to less starchy. Um, and then you can pair that with the starch, but it, they're literally just perfect. So if you're not full and satisfied on what you're eating, Ask yourself, are you eating enough veggies? Have you got the bulk to keep your stomach full and satisfied from all those incredible non-starchy veggies? Because that is the key. Okay. Oh. Soups just always taste amazing. Here you go, you wanna have some money soup? What do you think? They're nice? And kids always love soup as well, so you can literally put anything in there and they will love it. Oh God. Mmm, they're good. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, what I think I might do is because I've got a busy day um, and I'm gonna be out late, I'll also save half this soup for dinner this evening. So I don't have to worry about non-starchy veggies then. I just love how excited Romy gets about veggies. Get your little sweet bean. So if you are super busy and lead a really crazy life like most people do, then one of the best things I can tell you is to, when you're making something, make more of it. Always, always make more of it. So I could have just made a little soup, but now I'm making a gigantic soup and that is gonna save me some time later. Um, you could make a massive batch, you could put loads of stuff in the freezer, fridge for, the few, for a few days. It doesn't take very long to make a little bit extra. So always make more. All right, so I forgot to show you what else James got for me because he went to the Indian shop, which is loads and loads of plantain. So let me know if there's anything cool that you guys like to do with plantain. I haven't really ever used it that much. Um, so I really want to try and get creative and do some fun plantain things, aside from obviously having steamed plantain, which is delicious, which I might have for lunch. Um, okay, so soup is ready. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna eat this sweet potato as it is, because it looks so delicious and I can't bear myself to actually blend it up. Oh, yeah, cute I thought I would also go with the, in with a fresh element and just add a few little grapes for some extra sweetness and juiciness. So anyway, this is my very simple, super low calorie density breakfast, which has basically all of the things, veggies, fruits, starches, low calorie density is going to keep you full and it's going to be darn delicious. Anyway, um, yeah, definitely try this kind of simple combo out. Food does not have to be complicated. And you don't have to eat breakfast foods at breakfast time. You can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. I could not be more excited about the sweet potato. Mm. Oh my God. Why have I not been straight to the Indian shop to get these weeks ago? Mm, mm, mm. That is amazing. You don't need cake, guys. You just got sweet potatoes. Anyway, I need to go and eat my soup first. Mm -hmm. Firstly, I wanted to say how filling that breakfast was. It's about 1.30 and I'm not even remotely interested in any more food. That was so, so filling. Also, Romy ate a little, few little bites of my sweet potato as well. She loved it. She had so much soup and it was great. Um, Romy really wants to do some bouncing on the trampoline. So we're going to put some loud, loud, wild music on and do a lovely little bounce session. And I'm going to try and really work my legs and my bum while we do it. So let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So I'm bringing the bouncing outdoors because it means that Romy can play. She's been dying to go outdoors. And I thought I'd bring the trampoline, see if I can get a little bounce done. That is exhausting, guys. It's an amazing bounce. I must say it is challenging with a lot of Roms though. So Roms and I are still chilling in the garden. Romy is not able to play by herself very much at the moment and she wants me to be involved in every aspect, which is fine. <laughs> oh, she's a funny old thing. I'll tell you what I was thinking about. I've just done a nice little mini tiny workout in the garden um, every like, you know, 20 seconds or so, Romy needs me. Uh, but I was thinking about something I saw, uh, a quote or something I saw over on Instagram, which was basically about, Oh, Ronnie, you want some lovely flowers? Yeah. Well, don't pick them, but you can give them a nice stroke. Say, oh, hello, flowers. But the quote was something about, um, when you're really good at something, it's not because you're extraordinary, it's because you do ordinary things, but you do them again and again and again and again and again, and you found a way to do them on repeat. So if you want to succeed in something, weight loss, uh, getting really fit, any kind of journey, it can be anything, uh, job-wise, whatever it is. It's not about being extra special or doing something extraordinary. It's just about doing those things, like finding what works and doing it again and again and again and again. So losing weight, you know, me losing 60 pounds, I didn't do anything special to do that. But what I did is I learned, I learned about calorie density and I used that principle every single day, every single meal, again and again and again. Each meal on, in and of itself is not special. It's just, it's just a meal, it's just food. But when you stack all those things on top of each other and you do them every single day for years and years and years, that's when you really start to see some incredible results. So for fitness, for example, if you find a workout, if you find something that works for you, basically I'm trying to find something that works for me that I can squeeze in every single day um, and that is actually doable every single day. So instead of finding something extraordinary or instead of me thinking it has to be extraordinary, I'm just trying to think about the fact that it can be ordinary stuff that you incorporate into your life. So for example, I was just chilling with Romy in the garden here and I just had these little weights and I was just doing that. I was just standing with Romy, chatting to her. And I was just doing that. And after like a couple of minutes, my arms were burning. Okay, then I was doing that one. Okay, and you just, you kind of keep going and you can work that into your daily life. And it doesn't have to be a very long period of time. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or strenuous. But if you do it on repeat, that is the point. That's why I'm trying to learn to, that, that's what I'm trying to teach myself is that it can be small, but as long as you do it on repeat. So anyway, I really want to find a way of, it's very cute. Romy's finding, are you finding little wood louse, Romy? You're giving them a little kiss? Yeah. Say bye bye little wood louse. Bye. See you later. No. Can you not see the wood louse? Is it gone? She's loving the animals, which is very cute. But yes, I really want to build some muscle. I can't go to the gym right now, so I'm trying to figure out strategies to build some muscle in daily life when I've got Romy. Because I am too tired at night. I get so tired um, at the night time, and that's when I do my work. So I'm trying to build it into the daytime. So I'm going to try and put together, like, quick little 10-minute workouts for myself for arms for legs for different parts um and i'm going to try and build those and um see if i can put do them every single day on repeat so let me know if you guys would like me to share that with you um obviously i know there's some of you who are probably fantastic experts and you guys are like super super muscly and that's fantastic but i'm talking for you beginners out there who um want to kind of maybe build a little bit of muscle want to get a little bit of definition going on um and who are feeling really lost because i know that i feel really lost i don't i don't really understand building muscle i mean aside from lifting weights i don't really know what exercise to do i don't really know any of that stuff so if you want to be on this journey with me and you want me to share what i'm kind of doing exactly what i'm kind of doing to try and build some muscle let me know because we're going to do it small we're going to do it simple and we're going to do it every day okay so i wasn't quite sure what to have for lunch um, but it's about 10 past two and I want to go for a walk in the forest before we go and pick up Abe. 
um, I think it will tie Romy out nicely. So I just went picking in the kitchen, and, uh, in the fridge, and this is what I found. So I found some kale left over from yesterday that I was already ready to rumble, which is great. Cucumber, some cherry tomatoes, and some um, more of that chickpea dressing. I had a big sat chickpea dressing salad for lunch yesterday. It was very, very yummy. So I've got some leftover dressing. I made extra um, so that I could hopefully use it today, and I've remembered. So yay. So I'm going to put all this together, have a lovely salad, and then I'll either have, I'll, I'll eat that first and see if I'm hungry. If I am hungry, I'll have a bowl of porridge. If I'm not hungry, I won't. Let's see. I am loving this gigantic bowl I got from Morrison's. It makes everything feel just epic. Okay, in with all the KO. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna massage, I'm gonna massage all of this dressing in with the kale while I chop up the rest of my veggies so that this gets nice and kind of wilty. If you didn't see my video where I made this dressing, it is my new obsession. And I just love it so much. Oh, oh my God, I'm dying to dive into this. It really is the dressing that makes all the difference when you're making a salad. You could have a massive pile of greens that looks boring and just like, well, why would I want to eat that? You put up a good dressing on it and then it just comes to life, doesn't it? So it's all about that dressing. I've got like a third of a cucumber, loads of tomatoes. And this is going to be my vegetable portion of my 50-50 plate. Absolutely delicious. I know it looks kind of small in this bowl, but but it's still a decent amount of veg. Mm. Actually, I've realized instead of porridge, I am gonna want something else because I'm not gonna be back till like six. So I've got these plantains. So I'm gonna make, I don't know if you guys remember that chocolate, um, little like chocolate balls I made out of plantains last time. They were so, so good. So I'm gonna make a little bit extra. I'm probably only gonna have one plantains worth for lunch, but I'm gonna do two plantains steamed in the microwave real quick. Um, and then I'll show you how to turn them into a delicious chocolatey. I'm gonna go chocolate peanut butter style today. Who says you can't lose weight and be healthy eating incredible chocolatey treats? Ooh, hot plate, hot plate, hot plate. Okay, I've just cooked up my two plantains and they are super, super squidgy. So I ended up doing them for about nine minutes in the microwave. Now let's get the food processor and I'm gonna show you some magic. I'm gonna chuck these ooey gooey, very starchy plantains into the food processor. So if you don't know what plantain is, it basically it's in the banana family, I'm pretty sure, obviously, um, but it's super, super starchy. It's kind of like if a potato and a banana had a baby, um, which is why it is one of my favorite things because I love those two. Woo! Eating them on their own is beautiful. But we're going to level it up. Let's just have a quick little. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oh my God, that is yum. So I'm going to go in with, obviously you could do cocoa powder, but I'm going to go in with carob because I have an obsession with carob. Mama! Do you want to help mummy? Yeah. Okay, do you want to put this one in, Ram Ram? Yeah. Ready? Steady. Whee! Thank you, babes. Good job. I'm going to do a little splash of vanilla because I always do. And I told you peanut buttery, but I'm not going to use full fat peanut butter. We're going to go in with some PB2 powder. I'm going to do two. Yes, Rami. Here you go, babes. You can pop that one in. Whee! Now, Rami, we're going to turn it on and let's see some magic. And that's it. So simple. You obviously don't even need to use the PB2. You don't even need to use the chocolate if you don't want to. You can just make them into cute little balls, but this is going to be good. Okay, there we have it. One big, beautiful, squidgy, chocolatey, peanut buttery ball. Oh, wow. Amazing. I'm going to do little balls like this, and then I'll have about half the mix. What a great lunch. Mommy's actually lost her marbles. She's turned into a wild beast. <laughs> anyway, these are my chocolatey truffles. They are very, very delicious. Um, probably best if you keep them in the fridge so they get, or you could freeze them, I guess, um, so they can get nice and like a little bit firmed up. You could also put like a really fun surprise center inside like frozen raspberry or cherry or something like that, but these are, mm. Anyway, we're gonna head out to do a bit of forest school. Um, and then when we come back, I have not prepared any Indian at all. 
and it's going to be super late by the time we get back so we're probably not going to have Indian or we're not going to have that version of Indian but there is some sweet potato dal I've got some leftover soup for people and some sweet potatoes and it might just be a free-for-all and that's okay okay so I've eaten a little over half to be honest um I don't want to eat them all I want to save some for later but I am still a little bit snacky so I'm going to grab an apple with me on the go so we just got home we had a lovely time at forest school i'm trying to figure out what we're going to be doing for dinner tonight it's going to be a bit of a weird mishmash abe is going to have some of the soup that i made earlier with a bit of rice i cooked up a massive thing of rice before i left just for good backup um, and then he's going to have a sweet potato Romy's going to have the same kind of combination, I think. And I'm going to be doing maybe like a ricey, broccoli, stir fry or something. Busy, busy kitchen, but I want to show you what I am making. I'm going to, going to do myself a really quick and simple um, kind of stir fry. I've got one head of broccoli. I'm going to do a full pack of mushrooms. And I'm going to do crispy courgettes on the side because I really fancy them crispy. And I'm going to do it kind of like a mushroom risotto style. So it's a little bit creamy with a bit of soy milk and um, stuff like that. So yeah, let's do it. Right, so I've got some onions and frozen garlic just sautéing themselves in there. Should we have the Jamesy cooking show? Yes. <laughs> show us your magic, James. Show us no. your magic. <laughs> <laughs> Too shy. Okay, so we've got our courgettes. I've just chopped into little half moons here. James, can you grab me the nooch, please? Thank you. Okay. Like your little slave. You are my little slave. <laughs> right, so we've got some onion powder. We've got some garlic salt. And some nooch, which is gonna give us the breadcrumb kind of crispiness that we are wanting. You guys want to know the difference between what I eat and what James eats. So James basically oh, eats the I same eat. as, no, it is everyone asks all the time. So James basically eats the same as me. So we've got the leftover sweet potato dal and the rice. So James is having that. So he's having loads of whole food, but James also likes to add some other things to the mix. The good stuff. The good stuff. So he's got some, so he's got some paratha here that he's going to be adding. So he does a bit of whole food, but he also does a little mixy mix. Okay, so then I'm going to whack these in the air fryer for about no. 10-15 minutes so they're nice and crispy. Right, I'm going to add my mushrooms to my pan. One, is... In your elbows? Yes, I did have some in my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I had some mushrooms in my elbows. <laughs> so I'm aware I'm going vegetable heavy this evening because I'm quite hungry and I want to load up on those veggies. So. I'm gonna first and foremost eat this leftover soup. My babies have had the rest of the soup with some rice, but I'm gonna heat this up and eat that. Then I've got, I've got so much stuff. I've got the mushrooms, I've got the broccoli, and I've got crispy courgette. It's gonna be epic. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you, but I'm eating my soup. Okay, so my, um, my mushrooms and broccoli uh, are cooking down nicely. So now I'm gonna add in my rice, I think. So I'm just gonna go in with like just over a cup of rice. That should be, that should do the trick for me. I'm gonna mix it in and then I'm just gonna add a little splash of soy milk as well. See how veggies can turn one cup of rice into like a massive gigantic feast. Okay, we're going in with like a quarter to half a cup, maybe like, let's just say a third, shall we? Give that a nice mix. And stick the lid on and let that cook down for another five minutes. Dinner is served, and I don't know about you guys, but this looks absolutely incredible. It is super creamy and it tastes delicious. Mmm, yum. My big plate again, because I'm quite obsessed with this big, big bowl thing. And then it will also accommodate my crispy courgettes too. Crispy courgettes, here we come. I'll tell you what, these babies are delicious. Mm. I just fancy the contrast between creamy risotto-y stuff and super crispy courgettes. I thought that'd be a nice little mix. So this plate looks like it needs a little something there. So I'm also just gonna add in a little pop of color with some cherry tomatoes. There we go, dinner is served. I must say guys, this is one of the best creations that I have made. 
in such a long time. I know I get excited about most things I make, but this is darn delicious. Mmm, the whole combination. I think a little bit from here, and a little bit from here. Can you see how exciting veggies can be when you learn how to make them so darn delicious? Mmm, it is so easy to get in loads of veggies uh, when you enjoy them. And that's really the point of this way of eating, is um, to fall in love with whole plant foods, starches, and especially veggies. Anyway, I'm gonna go and eat this with my fam.